Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineers Tech Hub channel. So in this session, we are going to discuss about our in, uh, emphasis interview question and answer for two to eight year of experience. Okay, so let's move in the first question. Okay, hope you guys already watch my series or if you not, so always if you will go for the any interview if you are a uh, fresher if you are experienced if you have had more than 10 years of experience also they will ask you the first question is tell me about yourself so what happened if you will do the practice then you are able to represent yourself right if you will directly speak and tell me about yourself what to speak and all you will definitely not able to present perfectly right so what do you have to do so as per my experience you know when you are getting the interview call ask to your hr hey what is your requirement if they having the requirement for automation testing or they having the requirement for api testing or manual testing whatever you have to highlight those points in the interview so please ask uh, or you can read in your job description when you are getting to apply accordingly you can prepare your profile and you can tell you know same thing in your tell me about yourself so generally you, you have to tell your name your current organization your relevant experience your important uh, skills you have to highlight i am good in core java i'm good in selenium web driver api testing and your current project so your current project just you can tell i have worked on this domain then you can start your technical things what you have to done in your project you have to not explain the complete domain things here okay here you have to explain your technical work what you have done okay your tell me about yourself is crisp and clear this is your first impression is your last impression prepare before going for the interview I speak at least four to five times yourself only okay then you will get more confident okay second question is what is finally block actually finally block will come uh, inside in your exception handling concept okay so prepare well learn in the depth exception handling right so here just i have given some point of this finally block if the interviewer will ask you then you guys are able to explain well finally block always executed that is the one point finally block always executed but we have a few scenario where finally block won't be executed and this is the cross question okay so uh, in respective of try and catch okay so we have a combination of try catch and finally if you want to execute some mandatory code after exception causing a statement whether it is caught or not then we place that mandatory code in finally block if you have a db connection must be closed browser must be quit this type of the logic we can write inside this finally block so it will it must be executed in any i told you we have a two exception like two case where the final block want to execute but if you want to uh execute the mandatory code if the corresponding catch block is matched then catch block is executed then finally block is also executed here we have a one scenario we have a try we have a catch and we have a finally right some exception rates and the catch block will also match then catch block will also execute and finally block will also execute another point if the corresponding catch block is won't match right so try or catch means you are uh, getting some exception in the try but catch block won't be executed but finally block will always execute okay the same thing i have written in the second point another the cross question they will ask you in the in the in interview is there any case that finally block won't be executed yes we have a two cases where the finally block won't be executed whenever we are being the chance to enter the try then finally will be executed otherwise it won't be executed i'll show you the a snapshot of the code you will get to understand and when we will use system.exit where the finally block won't be executed so you can see here we have a two a snapshot the first code i have written uh, the code where we have a possibility to raise the exception 
right so i didn't write this system dot or dot println 10 by 0 inside this try means there is nothing we are applying for the exception handling here right in this case finally block won't be execute because you have not written code inside this try block okay second uh, snapshot i have written system dot exit then what happened here the code will be terminate right it won't be execute you are going to stop the code here in this case finally block won't be execute so might be if the interviewer will ask you the cross question if you have a this point with example definitely interviewer will impress guys so prepare well another question is what is the difference between throw and throws keyword okay so let me uh, give you like so throws keyword is used to report the raise the exception to the caller if you are doing the selenium practice in the eclipse you are getting some suggestion to you know throwing the exception right so that is you know throws right so it is mandatory for checked exception for reporting if they are not handled we use throws keyword as a method declaration level not only for method in, in the constructor also you you will use that if possible the throws and report any number of exception at time based on the program requirement if the method throws and report the exception then jvm is responsible to handle those that exception so this is handled by the jvm okay so when you are writing the code in the eclipse you will get many suggestion and we can handle throws will handle the multiple exception at a time throw keyword is the main purpose of the throw keyword is to create exception object explicitly for predefined and user defined exception some of the case you have to explicitly raise the exception right like throw we can create an object of exception and you can pass your own um, exception message like browser is not correct so this is the throw and throws keyword you know the differences let me move in the another question another question is what is object class in java so object class is the super most class and root class in the java okay when you are writing any class the object class is already there so this a snapshot i took from the official documentation of the java so object class is available in java.lang package so we have a object class so class object is the root of the class hierarchy every class has a object as a super class all the objects including array implement uh, implement the method of the class so this is the one constructor we have inside this object class and these are the methods so if you are creating any class this all the method is already there we have a clone method equal method finalize method get class has code notify notify all to a string wait and we have a overloaded wait method here some of the important method are there guys so you have to prepare well what is equals method so in this session i'm not going to explain uh, in depth equals method finalize method and to a string method right so these are the important method they will ask me in the interview so prepare well with the code if you want to learn in the depth how to override this method and all if you will not override uh, equals method and if you will not override to a string method then what will happen so many things are there inside this object class you can uh, refer my uh, regular uh, java playlist video okay so we'll get more clarity but if you will tell like that that is enough for the interview but interviewer might be the chance they will ask you the cross question so you have to ready for that okay so another question is they ask from uh, collection what are the list set array and hash map okay so these all the topics are related to collection and array is a separate topic so what is set set is the child interface of collection basically set is used to store unique object okay just i'm going to tell you list if you want have a requirement to store the duplicates set is working on your hashing algorithm and list is working on your index hash map if you have a requirement to store the object inside this key value pair then we should go for hash map 
and key is the unique and value is the duplicate if you will have a set and list right if you will merge it it will become the hash map and array is the separate concept we'll discuss okay let's see whatever the point we have given just we can read it so we will get more clarity again you have to do the coding practice here just i have given the theory in the interview they will ask you the program also so you have to if i touch any topic prepare well because definitely they will ask you the in in interview okay so set is the child interface of collection if you want to represent a group of individual object as a single entity where duplicates are not allowed and insertion order is not preserved because it is based on the hashing algorithm so insertion order is not preserved set interface do not contain any new method we have to use only collection interface so whatever the method which is there inside this collection same method we will use list is your child interface of collection if you want to represent a group of individual object as a single entity where duplicates are allowed and insertion order is must be preserved then we should go for list list is working on the index okay so we can preserve insertion once again guys so we can preserve insertion order via index because list is working on the index and we can differentiate duplicate object by using the index hence index play a very important role inside this list okay so let me move in the hash map so map is your separate collection guys so it is not hierarchy of collection so hash map is the implementation class of map the underlying data structure is hash table and hash table is working on your hashing algorithm so insertion order is not preserved because it is based on the hash code concept hash code of the key duplicates keys are not allowed but value can be duplicated heterogeneous object are allowed for both key and value and null allowed for ones okay so here heterogeneous object means uh, if you have a different type also we can uh, store over there okay hash map implement serializable clonable but not a random access these are the marker interface and serializable and clonable means if you it is copied object from one location to another location if you want you can google it to learn the more what is serializable and clonable interface hash map is the best choice in our requirement operation in the search operation actually if you have a, some searching operation then we should go for hash map why because it is working on the hashing algorithm and if you will tell the hashing algorithm we have a hash code and hash code having the you know every object having the hash code represent the unique object okay so this is about your hash map so this point is if you will tell to the interviewer they will impress but again for the coding practice you can follow my playlist or you can purchase my udemy course you will become an expert in the java okay with theory with code okay if you are explore your java knowledge you will get udemy i have a udemy course as well you can click on the link you will get in the description you can explore your java you know and you can play with your interviewers array so array is an index collection of fixed number of homogeneous data element because so see if you have a uh, if you have a requirement to store multiple elements then either you can go for map as either go for collection or either go for array but we having the many disadvantage of an array the first disadvantage is the size problem the size is fixed for the array it is not a flexible in array we don't have a, any inbuilt method right in array we can have only store homogeneous object homogeneous element this problem is resolved by using the object class but still be having the many disadvantage i have already told you right so let's see i have mentioned the advantage and disadvantage of an array also right the the main advantage of an array we can re, re, represent multiple value using a single variable so that readability understanding of the code will be improved the main disadvantage of an array is fixed in size once we create an array with some size 
then there is no chance for increasing or decreasing the size based on our requirement. Hence, uh, to use array concept compulsory, we should know the size in advance, which is not possible. The solution is collection. So we having the many question guys, so I'm not able to cover in one video. I will, uh, you know, uh, I will uh, upload soon uh, the part two, where you will get more question from Selenium and API as well. In this video, I have covered only Java question. Next uh, part two, I will cover Selenium and uh, API, API. So I will upload soon. So here they have asked the two code, write a program to reverse the string. It is a very easy code. And second code, they ask a string. We have a Mahesh 234. Extract only number from here. If you will use server string easily, you can extract here logic. You can make yourself. You can follow Java concept of the day. All the solution you will get it. I forget to paste the link for that. I will paste it in the description. OK, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new in the channel, please subscribe and press bell icon to get new video notification. And. And uh, coming soon, the part two will come uh, i will upload soon okay so please subscribe and press bell icon then when you will get notification then you can uh, have a good uh, you know some uh, knowledge you know which type of the question they are asking okay so thank you so much see you in the next video bye bye